Right you lot, this is a rushed video on Bayesian updating. The problem I'll be solving is the one that was given on a maths exam in the University of Manchester last year. Pause the video right now to read the question and try to understand it. So, first we have three possibilities for the string, 001, 010 or 100. So I'll write the probability of having one of these three strings as P. So here's a table that shows P. So the probability of 001 is one third. The probability of 010 is a third, and the probability of 100 is also a third. In other words, we assume that the three cases have an equal chance of happening. Now, we're told that the first symbol is queried and said to be 0. However, the answer has an 80% chance of being correct, so the probability of the first symbol being a 0 is 4 fifths, and the probability of it being 1 is 1 fifth. Now, what we need to do is calculate the probability of getting that 0, or in other words, what were the odds that we got that zero given that what we know about the p-table? So what we do is multiply the first and second sections times four-fifths and the last section times one-fifth because the last section's di first digit is one. We get nine-fifteenths. Then we make a new table that is our first update. So what we do is in the first two cells we multiply one-third times four-fifths times 1 over 9 fifteenths, which is basically 15 ninths, and 1 third times 1 fifth times 15 ninths. Now, the results make sense. Since we got 0 for the first digit, it makes sense that there is a bigger chance to have 0, 0, 001 or 0, 010 0, and have a lower chance for 100. 0, 0. Also, what is important is that the sum of these three numbers is 1. Now, we query again. And the probability of the second digit being equal to 1 is 4 fifths, and the p of the second digit being 0 is 1 fifth. We find what the odds of this happening are by multiplying 1 fifth times 4 ninths plus 4 fifths times 4 ninths plus 1 fifth times 1 ninth. This is, in a sense, the first cell of update 1 times the probability of getting 0, the second cell of update 1 times the probability of getting 1, and so on. We get 21 over 45, and we plug that in a new table, which is update 2. After multiplying the results from the top table, times the probability of getting either 1 or 0, as is relevant, times the probability of getting this result, we get 4 over 21, 16 over 21, and 1 over 21. Again, the sum equals 1, and it makes sense that 0, 1, 0 is the most likely one, as the 0 and the 1 match the queries.